Now, viewers, it's no secret that under the highly unpopular and embattled Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, Canada has become a safe haven for Khalistani extremists. Now, not only are these Khalistanis given a free run and a platform, they are also employed by the Canadian government. Justin Trudeau, who literally bludgeoned his country's diplomatic relationship with India to appease his Khalistani vote bank, should look at the credible evidence that Times Now is now going to show. In the super exclusive news break, we will reveal how the Canada Border Service Agency took in Khalistani terrorist Sandeep Singh Sidhu and gave him employment and after that even promoted him. So imagine, a man listed and named for terrorist activities and extradition by India, a man who is a accused of executing the targeted killing of a nationalist and Shaurya Chakra awardee teacher Balvinder Singh Sandhu in the state of Punjab by the world's largest democracy, that is India, he gets his paychecks from Canadian tax dollars. Now, Times Now senior news editor Bhavtosh Singh wrote to authorities at the Canadian Border Service Agency and asked if the CBSA can clarify that Sidhu, who was named in the NIA dossier as a significant entity involved in promoting terrorist activities in Punjab, if this man is working with the CBSA, to which the CBSA confirmed that yes, Sandeep Sidhu is a CBSA employee and then they defiantly claimed that they have no evidence to support the allegations made against him. Let's go across to Bhavtosh Singh to get us more on the story. Bhavtosh, first of all, you wrote that email to them. It was very, very sharp and factual. The points you mentioned are all there in the NIA dossier. What is shocking is the defiance that came in from the CBSA. Take us through the details of the email response that you got from the Canadian authorities. Uh, Sagrika, as far as uh, the response is concerned, uh, there were two correspondents between uh, us and CBSA. Uh, they first admitted that he's uh, working with them and they said because of privacy reasons they can't share more details. Hmm. In the second mail, they again admitted that he's working with them. But uh, later on, they said that there are allegations uh, that have been leveled against him in various reports. But then they added that uh, there is no credible evidence against him. Uh, there has been an affidavit that has been filed by NIA just uh, a week ago in the Supreme Court in which NIA had again repeated that as far as Sandeep Singh uh, Sidhu is concerned, he along, along with uh, Lakhvir Singh Rode, they were the mastermind uh, behind the killing of Shaurya Chak uh, Chakra winner, uh, uh, awardee in fact, uh, who was killed in 2020. Now looking into the gravity of this uh, case, this case was handed over to the NIA and uh, two of the accused in this case uh, applied for bail. Uh, immediately that bail was rejected. Uh, by a division bench of the Supreme Court. Now, Sandeep Singh Sidhu uh, fled uh, to Canada. He's working there as a superintendent. Uh, in the email correspondence that uh, we had with CBSA, they said, now, this is very important, that they have done a background check uh, mm. of this individual before hiring him, and they have continuously done a background check. Now, if they were continuously doing a background check, they would have realized that he's someone uh, who is wanted in a terror case uh, yes. in India, and that he's associated with a banned terror outfit or a proscribed terror outfit like Khalistan Liberation Front. Right. He, along with Lakbir Singh Rode, are uh, wanted in this case. It's a case that has been registered under anti-terror law, and that uh, instead of hiring Hiring him, uh, Canada should have worked with India hmm. and should have extradited him and back. You know, Bhaktosh, not just hiring him, they've promoted him to the post of a superintendent. So it means that when you get promoted by an organization, you have been with the organization for a significant amount of time. We'll get more details on when he exactly he was hired by the CBSA and what has he been doing there, and also about these background checks that the Canadian authorities keep harping about. But before that, let's tell our viewers about this case you're talking about. On the 19th of October, the government named Sandeep Singh Sidhu in this terror case involving the murder of Balvinder Singh Sandhu, a teacher and a Shaurya Chakra awardee. The government in its communication to Canada said that the Khalistani terrorist Sidhu was in touch with Pakistan-based Lakhbir Singh Rode, who even Bhavtosh was talking about, and other ISI operatives and officials, and he successfully executed the targeted killing, the targeted killing of Balvinder Singh Sadhu in Punjab. This happened in the year 2020. Now, in the month of October in 2020, with the help of a noted gangster, 
this targeted killing was executed. Balvinder Sandhu and his family members were awarded the Shorya Chakra in the year 1993 for their struggle against militancy in Punjab. Now, in the early 90s itself, this brave family of Balvinder Sandhu was on the hit list of Khalistani terrorists. In the year 2020, 62 year old Balvinder Sandhu was shot dead at his residence in Tarantaran. And uh, what we are now getting to know, last week the NIA also informed the Supreme Court that Canada based operatives of the Khalistan Liberation Force were behind the assassination of Balvinder Sandhu. The charge sheet also clearly mentions that the accused in the case revealed that they were hired by Canada based Khalistani operatives. Uh, Bhavtosh, do stay with us. Let's also go across to Hina because Hina, you have that dossier that the Indian government presented before officials in uh, uh, Canada. What does it exactly say about uh, Sandeep Sidhu? Well, that's right. And this is the copy of that dossier that has been given to Canadian authorities multiple times. And there you have Sandeep Singh Sidhu mentioned here. And, you know, what is mentioned about him is very, very important because Canada seems to be feigning ignorance when it comes to things like these, when it comes to evidence like this one that it should be paying attention to. It says Sandeep Singh Sidhu has emerged as a significant entity involved in promoting terrorist activities in Punjab. He was in touch with Pakistan-based Lakbir Singh Road and other ISI operatives of slash officials and successfully executed a targeted killing on October in October 2020. And this is very, very clear. It makes it uh, absolutely clear that how this person is a terrorist. He's wanted here in India and he's, uh, you know, wanted since a very long time. Due information was given to the Canadian authorities. But despite that, uh, you know, he was on the payroll of Canadian authorities. Mm. It also mentions that, you know, uh, Comrade Balvinder Singh Sidhu uh, was killed in Punjab with the help of a noted gangster, uh, the individual, in fact, an employee of Canada Border Service Agency and recently promoted to the rank of a superintendent is actively associated with pro Khalistan terrorists, including Lakhbir Singh Road. Even this information was, uh, you know, provided in the dossier that he is employed employed by Canada Border Service Agency. Mm. A confirmation Bhavtosh has got for our viewers, but yet Canadian authorities, Justin Trudeau specifically, decided to turn a blind eye. You know, when it comes to doubting India, then it only relies on intel sources yes. uh, without any hard evidentiary proof. It goes out, all guns blazing and targets India. But when it comes to, you know, taking action against terrorists which are operating from Canadian soil, which are wanted in India, there is absolute silence yes. and this is evidence now that is for the world to see and then let's see how Justin Trudeau and his government will respond. Yes, thank you Hina for getting us the details from that dossier. So Bhavtosh, Canada admits on record that when it makes charges against India when it comes to Hardeep Singh Nijjar, it did not have evidence in the start. It was relying on intel. But here, India has given it evidence and credible evidence in the form of a dossier. And what does it do? It goes ahead and it hires this man who faces charges of terrorism, who is accused of killing a nationalist and a patriot in India. And now they know, India has told Canada, that here is a man who has, uh, who has been in touch with dreaded ISI operatives. He is in touch with uh, Khalistani radicalized elements. And and yet they hire him and they promote him to the post of a superintendent. Since when has he been employed with the CBSA, Bhavtosh? Do we have any details on that front? Well, Sakrika, that uh, information was not shared with us. But the fact remains that uh, this matter went up to our uh, apex court. And because of the gravity of the case, uh, uh, the bail application of the two accused uh, was rejected. Uh, so this entire affidavit of NIA was vetted by the top court of the country. So there is a cre uh, credible evidence. And it's not that uh, these are allegations, merely allegations mm. that have been leveled by our intelligences. This is an affidavit that was uh, sworn affidavit that was filed by NIA. And uh, the fact that it was, in fact, uh, vetted by the apex court that it went through the affidavit and looking into the gravity of the case 
not only the case was handed over to NIA from Punjab police, the case was filed under sections of uh, anti-terror law. Right. The fact that the matter went from the lower court to the high court, then to the top court, clearly shows that there is something uh, credible in this case, that the bail application was uh, rejected. Whereas uh, Justin Trudeau and Canada has only uh, hmm. intel uh, uh, information or intel source-based information. Here you have information yes. that uh, is based on evidence. There are charge sheets that have been filed. And I has shared all the information now uh, with Canadian authority. Despite that, our correspondence with the Canadian authorities, uh, they have said that he has been pr uh, promoted, not only has been promoted, but they have said that the allegations are, uh, uh, ha these are only mere allegations and there are no credible evidence uh, as far as uh, uh, Sandeep Singh Sidhu is concerned. So Bhaptosh Singh, our senior news editor, getting us that Times Now Global exclusive. There are more details that are now coming to the fore. This terrorist who was hired by Canada's Border Service Agency is a member of a banned international organization which is uh, known as the International CQ. Federation. Now, this group is banned not only in India, it is banned in Australia, it is banned in Japan, it is banned in USA, and it is also banned in Canada. So, imagine the extent of the patronage and promotion. An extremist group that is banned in Canada itself, one of its members gets employed by the Canada Border Service Agency and the Canada Border Service Agency, when questioned about it, says, we've done our due diligence, we've carried out checks and there is no evidence that is backing these allegations made against the man in question. Now listen into how the BJP is responding. Well, now with their own acceptance, their own agency, CBS, is saying that, yes, we have been working with the terrorists, what more do you want? Now Trudeau should come out and explain that is the government of Canada under his leadership is bound to give shelters to terrorists, bound to give jobs to terrorists, give them house also, make this stay comfortable, let Canada be a orange blue country. That's what Canadian wants. India has shown Canada credible evidence, not once but multiple times. And what has Canada done? Not too long ago, it was Justin Trudeau who admitted that when allegations were made against India, which led to this diplomatic war between India and Canada, those they had no evidence, they only had intel. Now listen into that admission by Justin Trudeau. We chose to continue to work behind the scenes to try and get India to cooperate with us. Their asks of us was, well, how much do you know? Give us the evidence you have on this. And our response was, well, it's within your security agencies. You should be looking into uh, how much they know. You should be engaging us. Oh, no, no, tell us what you know. Show us the evidence. And at that point, it was primarily intelligence, not hard evidentiary proof. Uh, so we said, well, you know, let's work together and look into your security services and maybe we can get that done. Now, meanwhile, if you think it's only India that is constantly showing the mirror to Canada and telling it about how Canada has become a safe haven for terrorists, think again, because a Canadian member of parliament, his name is Chandra Arya, he has always been vocal about the issue of Khalistani extremism in Canada. He said it as it should be said. In the parliament, Chandra Arya acknowledged that Khalistani violent extremism is a Canadian problem and authorities in Canada should take it seriously. In Canada, we have long recognized the serious problems of Khalistani violent extremism. Let me be clear, any actions or involvement by foreign state actors within Canada in any form are unacceptable. It is critical that we all recognize the importance of eliminating cross-border threats posed by Khalistani extremism and resume our efforts to address it effectively. The persistence of Canadian Khalistani extremism is rooted in the political patronage these extremists enjoy. Unfortunately, I am yet to hear any politician or government official offer reassurance to Hindu Canadians, many of whom feel concerned and fearful for their safety in the light of recent events.